Peter Chow's hot new number one single, White Man Food, is now available on iTunes. Go to bit.ly slash white man food or go to the search engine in your iTunes and search Peter Chow to buy it today. Robi the Chow here, episode 55, coming right your way. Let me turn on the volume. Can't hear sh- shit over here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now we got something going, you know. Now we got something going. Uh, oh, black man in a motherfucking car. Is that a cardigan or is that some sort of slight slim fit jacket? Very nice skinny jeans. Oh my, high thigh gap and everything, and guess what? I don't have respect for that. Yeah, that's right. Boom! Let's turn this shit up. I can't even hear the star. I can't even hear the bone crunching, you know? Oh, this motherfucker going to run away. Hold on here, hold on. Let's just... just al- Quite a bit of... Okay, I can hear now. Okay, I can hear a little bit now. Sorry for the technical miracle difficulties right off the bat, but these guys got some legs. Oh, and that is going to end all of that. You don't run away from Michael. You know that. You know that better than anybody else. Um, what's up with you guys today? Hopefully you are doing well, as I said. Episode 55 coming your way. Um, uh, if you notice something different about me, I got a haircut. Yeah, I got a haircut because my hair was getting a little bit too long. And you know, I'm not sure if you guys can relate to this, but do you guys feel that, you know, every time you get a haircut, it's almost like, you know, no matter the length, it's a little bit too short. And you're like used to the amount of depth, the, the, the amount of volume to your hair, what you can do with it. And just for the first a couple of days, after you get a haircut, you're just like, man, I wish I got it, you know, styled a little bit longer. But it's actually a good length because, you know, after a little bit, oh, this motherfucker in the ponytail want to fight. Okay, let's, let's, I'm going to appease him. I'm going to appease him. Look at this. Who you think you're fighting, huh? Who you think you're fighting? Some guy who doesn't know how to fight? That's not me because I know how to fight. I'm going to stomp your asshole until you say uncle, bitch. But yeah, I mean, my point is, is that sometimes, you know, that's the way I feel. And I shouldn't feel that way because after a little bit, it's going to go right back to more normal. Uh-oh. Bad driving. Uh, yeah, I'm going into a studio lot at the moment. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Calm down. I'm just using this as a shortcut. You guys don't have to do this, you know what I'm talking about? All right. Good. You know, I noticed I was watching back my last video and I noticed something that I say a lot is You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and then I follow it up with a uh And I do that a lot and I'm not sure whether I'm going to make that a thing Like you know how people have their things, their signature catchphrase Like you know, mine is you know, chow outside and stop drinking the haterade But you know, I've been working on getting a new one and perhaps uh, Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh Should be my new one uh, I, w- I mean, I was I was editing the video, and I was recording myself, and I was like, man, I say that shit a lot, and I'm not even aware of the fact that I say it. Should I continue saying it? That was that that was the debate that I had w- with myself for you know quite a, quite a good amount of time, you know. Um, but I, I I think that I've come to the consensus that I just might, you know, I, I just might use it. Now, I'm trying to avoid the cops here. Maybe, maybe they're, they're not gonna find me right here. Okay, check this out. Ah, uh, how you gonna find me now, bitch? How you gonna find me now, huh? You can't. Look at me. I'm hiding in the bush. You can't find me. Uh, anyway, for all my motherfucking fans who live in the Richmond, BC area, Hit up Connections 2000 on Camby Road. That's where I got my hair cut. Nice and cheap. Uh, there's a nice man in there. He's, I don't know. He's in his 50s. 
he roughs your head up, you know. You, you know, uh, I had to pay an extra eight dollars for a washer because I had a lot of hair product in my hair, and I and I said it would probably make it very much easier for you if you you know cut my hair without the product in it. And he was like, no problem, eight dollars, and I uh, do the washer. And it's funny because it's kind of awkward when the man washes your hair. Because, you know, there's a little bit of scalp massaging and, and just a, a lot of that. So he was he was just like, he, he was trying to show me that he was the real man, you know, just really just, argh, you know, just all over hey, massaging my head. So, so that was nice. Let's, let, let, let's, let's look want? into uh, this You're situation. What is going on with Trevor and what Michael? Let's, let's take enough, a look. Huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? That family is no, never going to be back. Too, Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I don't know. Mm. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. Scores? More like s'mores. Right. That's what I would be doing. I take s'mores. You know, if a motherfucking fat kid has a s'more, you think I'm going to let that motherfucker eat that shit without a fight? Huh? I'm going to knock him down and I'm going to take his motherfucking s'more. I'm the s'more taker. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're gonna do this last big job, and then we're gonna dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me, all right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. Well, there's a reason for that. You look like a motherfucking homeless man. Come on now. Nobody gives a oh. fuck about homeless people. Just oh. kidding. I do, and I definitely love all I facets of life. I mourned you. Have you guys out, ever seen that uh, video on my main channel when I go around during the Christmas time and I uh, and I, I, I give the homeless people some cheeseburgers and it, it just it makes me cry even watching and I think I'm going to do it again this year minus the cheeseburgers I'm going to kind of plate like these Christmas dinners and I'm going to take it to them like turkey mashed potato and all that maybe even some cranberry sauce yeah let me just ask you something. All right, something I've been, I've been thinking about. I like how my armpit is bleeding. Definitely not treating exactly that one. Exactly who was buried in your place? Obviously, Brad. You know what I'm thinking? I have no clue. You treacherous piece of shit. Uh-oh. You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. Oh, he knows. He knows. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he finally found out. Uh-oh. Is this going to be like a chase scene or something? What's going on? That's my car, you prick. Yeah, you prick. Come on, come back, you prick. Uh, yeah, yeah. You took my car, you prick. I need that car. I need that car to go around. Good thing there's a lot of rich people in this neighborhood, so I can just steal anybody else's car. Of course, as I say that, nobody has a car. Fuck you, bitch! Oh, sorry about that. Was that your friend or something? Uh, what's going on? Want to do something about it? Huh? Oh! Uh oh, lose the cops? No! I'm angry, don't you see? Don't you see I didn't do anything? I was just taking my out my anchor on somebody. Okay, does anybody have a fucking car I can take? Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh. Uh. Ah, there we go. Okay, now where, where the fuck do I need? Oh, I need to lose the cops first before I know exactly where I'm going. That's easy. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. 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 Whoa, sir. Whoa, my god. Oh, jeez. Oh, my good god. Here I am trying to avoid these uh, popo policemen, and uh, uh oh, I'm not, uh, not doing so well. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, they spotted me. They spotted me. Oh, maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't. What a fucking bunch of fools. 
Oh, this is terrific. Oh, wow, did you see that? Did you see me avoid those cops? I don't even know how I did that. I was like right in front of them. They must be fucking blind. go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you. I don't think Trevor is in the mood for pizza. Maybe Chow Me. Chow, Chow, Mummy. Who's this Brad character anyway? What's the big deal about Brad? You know? You're gonna find Brad, motherfucker. You're gonna find Brad? Oh my god, I just ran into a. Ran into a goddamn post. No wonder why you people are like, man, be the child can't try. All right, it looks like, you know, it's it, funny enough, I think that Michael is definitely the most, um, I don't know, the most complex character in the game. Franklin is just everybody's bitch, uh, he's got his own shit going on, Trevor just has a lot of package, you, and, and so does Michael. But I mean, Michael is very, very complex and he's very, very interesting. And I have to say, I mean, people always ask me, who's your favorite character? Ah! Uh, but yeah, Michael, more complex than anybody else in the game, I think. And and I, I have to say, he's my favorite character to play as. Although I very much appreciate that the game decided to allow us three players uh, to play as. That's very cool of Rockstar because usually it's just one person and then you have to be that person the entire time so yeah it worked out very very good I like it I like it I like it a lot I laugh but you know okay I'm here all right I am here no problem uh oh Go to the second level. Then why the fuck did I need to go here first? Why don't why not just tell me to go there, you know? Okay, where am I going? Oh, okay, do I need to get off my bicycle? Alright. Oh! Oh no, come on! Come on! No, no, no. Okay, I, maybe I shouldn't have done that, okay? I shouldn't have done that and I apologize. Okay, but there's no need to open fire on somebody, you know? Just, just for that? Come on! I just punch a motherfucker in the face! Okay, I'm gonna die and then I'm gonna drive back. So that's gonna be a problem. Unless I go up the stairs. Is there stairs here? If those are stairs... No, that's not a stair. Okay, shh. Shh. Nobody will find me. Especially if I'm quiet. Look at this. Look how quiet I am. They're not gonna do shit! Look at this. Look at that. Look at the perfect hiding spot I found. Look at all those cops coming after me. They're not gonna find me. They're not gonna know where to look. Uh oh. Don't even. Don't even come. You're not even close. Huh? 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 Oh my god. This actually work. You can't find. Oh my god. That's terrific. Hello. How are you? <laughs> you fucking idiots. Oh jeez, all I was doing was hiding behind the goddamn lamppost. Oh hello! There, don't you don't you find a little bit suspicious? I have fucking gun wounds all the fuck over my body and you're just like la da 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 Oh my god, I just feel like punching you for being so fucking stupid, you know what I'm talking about? Uh yeah, you see you see what I did there? Uh man. I'm gonna have to end this episode pretty soon in about seven minutes. I have to take my dog. He's got a grooming appointment. I have to take him to get, uh, you know, his hair moisturized. His, uh, I, I need his uh, breath to be smelling good. All sorts of shit. They're going to, you know, spritz him with some sort of cologne. You know, dog safe cologne, of course. Uh, so that's funny. Alright. Where's Trevor going? You're not flying out of here, are you? 
I'm just gonna walk into an airport with uh, a bunch of gun wounds on my uh, my chest. Oh, I'm going. Wow, that was easy. Shit. Do I even know where I'm going? Did I just take a random flight and I'm out of here? All right, hey, whatever. Whatever, I'll flow your bow, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, you see that? I'm just gonna do that all the time. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, you know, cause black people. What's going on? Oh, is this the beginning of the- Oh my goodness, this is the beginning of the, uh, the fucking game. We're this going way back. We're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally white. Oh, flashback. It's a flashback. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory. I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? Man, I'm. I, this is a very deep part of this motherfucking, you know, movie game, or, and I'm just fucking up right now in terms of driving. I mean, I just can't even stay straight on this road. Uh, but I mean, you can't really blame me, you know. Black ice. You ever heard of black ice? That shit is unsafe. That's unsafe, you know, because you can't see it, it blends in with the ground, you're on it, you start just slipping and sliding, and you're just out of there, you know, you crash into everything, really. What I like to do is I like to drive faster in those conditions. And uh, when I go to the East Coast and it's very, very cold, you know, that's what I do. Uh oh, don't get hit by train, you know. Uh... I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. It's all Be happy. It's Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. Oh my, this is some deep shit right here. Kinda like this lamp, I have to say. Looks like it's just getting emotional right now. It's getting emotional. You know what I'm talking about? Ah! Uh. We right, did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything, everything is, is done. done. Go to your grave. Oh my. How ominous. How the fuck do I get there? Do I? Do you want me to go around? Oh uh, jeez. Well, All right. Here we go. Here we go, I'm on my way now. I am on my way to my own grave. Who is in there but Brad? I feel there's going to be a twist, you know? It's going to be my twin or something, you know? Okay, where you at? Oh, Trevor, you beat me to the punch, you! Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh, tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? It happens in the dark. It comes out in the light. Oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. This is it. Moment of truth. Uh-oh, what's it going to be? You guys excited? I like I didn't bother to change shirts and I didn't bother to attend to my wound. That is, I'm bleeding out of my shoulder! Who's that? Oh, oh, as if I didn't know. Brad! Wow, he's a crusty looking cool motherfucker now, huh, oh, Brad? This Thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin. Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot. I did. That's, that's it. 
I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Sorry, I'm not talking, but I... Pull the fucking trigger! This is crazy. Ugh. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! I think both of them want to die. Oh my. Uh-oh. Some other fucking chinks are gonna come after me. I don't know if you... Who are these chinks? Uh-oh. Get in the car, sure. Oh my. So don't shoot at me. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, what's going on? Right, you're dead. Hey, yo, what's up, man? What's up? What are you, what are you doing? Fuck up, you confused pieces of shit. All right, all right, calm down. Okay, calm down. All right, there's no need to shoot. There's no need to shoot. He's getting away. Man, there's no way to there's no way to survive this. Oh yeah. Anyway, I gotta finish this level another time because I have to go, unfortunately. But until next time, stop checking the haterade by the shades online, shadysluts.com. I'm going to try to kind of do this level in the next episode or something. But uh, make sure to buy my new song on iTunes, White Man Food, bit.ly slash white man food, or click that annoying ass watermarked iTunes logo on this video. Uh, yeah. Until next time, stop drinking the haterade and start drinking the bubble tea. Ciao, oh, sai, motherfucker. Rock the shades that Peter Chow wears today by visiting ShadySluts.com. Shades are only $34, and when you use my personal promo code, PyroBoobs, you will get $10 off. ShadySluts.com.